Good evening, my name is the Fair One Alarm Copter Server of Joyous Win. Hello. And today it's the KJK versus FDSB match. Now this is gonna be an eagerly awaited one because seriously, uh, the KJK and FDSB were some of the uh, original forming teams along with a shaggy tenacious end. So this looks to be a good match. We're gonna see two solid teams come up against each other here. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this one. I mean, FDSB definitely the team that I know the least about out of all the teams that we've seen so far, except possibly the uh, the pro team that we had, the oh, Division 5. Still, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's some good names in there. So, you know, the particular names that I know, especially Chuck Steak, I'm hoping to see some good hat action from him today. <laughs> so, uh, should be some good games. Yep, yeah, Chuck Steak, our fashionista of TF2. <laughs> Doors open. Well, they are the... Um, the 420 guys. I remember seeing these from Gold Rush. They're immediately out. Nice heavy heavy medic combo. This is the thing, actually. I'm looking at uh, the um, uh, KJK there. They're moving up quite nice. They've got some nice firepower going on. Yeah, this is very, very steady from both teams, actually. It's a lot more... It seems a lot more calculated than either of the... Uh, any of the other games we've seen so far. Mostly, they've been a bit of a rollover, but this is actually looking quite evenly matched. I mean... Uh, KJK just about pulling forward, but this is actually really, really nice and steady from both teams. Uh, I think they might actually be able to... Ooh, it's looking like it could be close. I think they might actually be able to hold off this uh, heavier medic. And yeah, there we go, heavy down. It took a long time for it to go down though. I mean, Unambitious Hoover, that was some excellent heavy work there. Slow, steady, calculated movements. And always keeping his gun barrel forwards and the action. That was, you know, Textbook heavy manoeuvring there, you know, great work from that. But yeah, here come the Red Oob Counter Oob, they're trying to hold on to A. What's going on with E though? Well, the remains of a dead demo, man, I think that's all that's happening with E now. Oh yeah, I forget, the new thing in line updates come out, this is a tournament, and duckies are available to you all. Yeah, just keep playing with duckies. Hmm. Yep, the double quick fix uber action, just in case you want to be really, really safe, damage isn't bothering you vulnerable. But that was a nice first take there for the KJK, nicely pushed actually. Yeah, like I said, slow and steady, but I don't know whether or not this might actually be, you know, all the other games have usually been quite a fast A cap and a very slow B cap, but it does look like, again, over at B, there's a lot more action from both sides, you know, it's not... It's not as one-sided as we've seen so far. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's not... I see what you're saying there. It's uh, much more punctuated. A lot better temp, steadier tempo. Well, they're saying that point B, though, is going fast. And that's usually one of the points that's disastrously defended. Well, ex excellently defended. Saying that... Oh, hey, uh, that's uh, Froggy from the Hearts of um, Steel there on chat. Nice to see you, man. Thanks for watching. Oh, thank you for all for the uh, live players coming in, uh, broadcast players in. It's nice to, you know, have you guys on. Ah, sorry about that. I'm afraid that's the problem. Um, that's the way we kind of run things. There. You're missing Artemis. Uh, is there a problem with Artemis? If so, uh, for the time being, if Daddy Chasm can jump in on red, um, you know, he can then kind of help take over. But hopefully you guys can be a bit more coordinated without, without Artemis for the time being. Right, okay, when she comes back in, Daddy Chasm will jump back out and hopefully everything will be fine. But yes, this is the intense drama of TF2 where PCs crash and sometimes things go wrong. <laughs> Always good to have a backup plan. I don't think we've actually had a smooth game so far. So, um, if anything, this is tradition. You know, it's not like it's unfair because every game has had problems. <laughs> the yeah, that's the thing. It's it's always been you know quite a few problems here or there. And from the looks of it, wow, double uber there from the KJK. That was pushed. That was intense pushing action right there. This is really, really nice attacking work. I mean, like I said, not as fast as other teams have been. But, you know, they are actually moving up well as a crowd. And, you know, they've kind of got like two waves of, uh, of an attacking team. And, you know, it worked really nicely for point B. They managed to push forward, take out a few of the guys, and then come forward with Ubers. And that worked brilliantly. Yeah, that was really, really lovely to see. I mean... That's, that was just punctuated Ubers right there. Very good medic timing. 
Yeah, one second, please, guys. Okay, back again. Got a few friend invites there. I think people want to see the broad the uh, channel. I had to do a bit of a spring cleaning my friends list. Yeah, you know how it gets. Um, sometimes if I think there's something that's been on for a while, I tend to you know clear them out a bit. You know, but that's the problem when you you you're kind of I'm kind of popular. Um, <laughs> 730 subscribers will do that to you. Um, but anyway, oh wow, look at this uh, fresh attack here from, uh, you know, KJK. Yeah, this is really nice, and I think it's really, really helping the work that Unambitious Hoovy and and uh, Mobile Goodness, well, what Mobile Goodness was doing until he got rather nicely headshot oh, by Porky no. Pie there, but this is a really, really nice attack, and Ooh. yeah, that's a cap for C there, I think. Yeah, nice Kerouac. Yeah, I just saw Kerouac uh, save the cat there, heavy, marauding heavy coming around the corner, I, I crush Carl Woods, and stabbed. But yeah, okay, now this is this is looking like a convincing attack here. I mean, you know, we don't normally see like teams get in this deep this fast. Um, <laughs> it's usually a case of straining, toiletry kind of action where you're hoping it'll go through, but it just won't. Mm -hmm. And but, uh, look, another Uber, this is the thing I'm seeing though with the, the, you know, the KJK. Their medics are covered by Booper or something because they're in excellent form today. Yeah, particularly Sergio Source. I mean, he's really been making his medic stuff work. I mean, considering he's been using the vaccinator as well, he has, he has survived surprisingly well a lot of the time. And um, it's working wonders, really. I like that little combat medic here from Piers. He's like, yeah, I can heal. I can also hurt people. And he's jumping around and having everything shot at him. And it took quite a while for him to die. But we are entering now... Oh, sorry, you're saying? Go, go ahead. We are entering now that kind of end game status though. You know, what's happening now is we're seeing point D, and this is usually where teams become a little unstuck. Uh, blue teams don't tend to form up so easily, and they start grabbing E. Yeah, I think you can kind of tell as well, the FDSB have kind of sort of understood the gravity of the situation. It's a lot more hard defence going on. D did not go easily at all. I mean, there was a good attempt as well. There was like an Uber and Demoman and stuff like that. Uber Pyro with a really, really decent Uber as well. But I think... I think, like I said, yeah, FDSB, they just, they're getting a little bit wise to it, and, I mean, now as well, <laughs> either way that um, the, K the KJK go, they've got to go quite a long way to be able to get to either of these points, you know, A to B is pretty, or spawn to B, or spawn to A, is pretty much, you know, just around the corner, and it's a fairly easy attack, but this is pretty much the long slog now. Yeah, this is what I'm saying, point D is actually quite hard to get to, and point E, I mean, it looks deceptively inviting, but it is easily one of the worst, most barren grounds to try and hold in all of TF2 land. Oh, gee. Oh, oh ooh, ooh. dear. That was almost a disaster. Nice work there from whoever that was. I think that was uh, Blackwood. Blackwood, I don't know. Unambitious Hoovy there, dancing around on the... He, this guy is threatening Oblivion right now. I saw that. I was like, oh, my God, he's going to fall in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you, you just found the other platform. Ooh, look at point D though. It looks like something's happening. Yeah, I think they found out exactly where Red were Red were looking to defend from, and ooh, it's a little bit of a slow attack. I'm not ooh, lucky oh, crit there. Crockett launcher. Line. I think they might be able to pick this one off if they can get enough people on the point fast enough. I think they're gonna pull it off though. Yeah, there's no Reds about to try and defend this now, and that one's down. KJK Bishop, they're congering for the win, and this is not looking good. I mean, this is easily the fastest attempt we've had in the game so far. I mean, I, you almost think they've been practicing. <laughs> yeah, this is, the th this is the problem right now. The Red are trying to get to E, but how... Oh, oh the crits! Oh, wow! That was all... Oh, this is why we keep crits on in the game. I mean, seriously though, um, the KJK have had two lucky bouts of crits. The one on that D point, getting rid of all the red defenders, and there, just annihilating most of their team with the enemy team. Yeah, that was a lovely time to get crits, and a really good time to pop that over as well. I mean, you know, you had like five or six red guys all come around the corner, and you got crits to polish them off as well. I mean, that, you know, a little bit of luck, but I think, you know, is a, can't, can't say enough good things about the good medic work on KJK either. The thing is right now though is that you know Red know exactly what they're doing, well so the FDSB know what they're doing. Um, they gotta try and get to E by any means, and this is where warfare gets a little bit gorilla ish and commando ish. Where you know they're gonna start hit trying to hit point A and trying to get round to point B a bit more. I mean they could they need to remember you can get 
go through from point C. Um, there are ways going around that, so you want to hit that area as well. And from the looks of it, you know, the FTP are nicely covering the entire area now. This is the thing though, I mean, point E, this is going to be tricky. Um, it's, it's always tricky on take, but this is the easiest time they've got, and they've got 8 minutes on the clock. This is looking a very strong game here for KJK. Yeah, they've definitely got a good chance to push this, although, I mean, I think the FTSB, like I said, they are definitely aware of what's going on, though. Schlappy in particular, really, really observant, looking after, who was it? I think it was Nicodemus. Um Popping up, trying to pop up a sentry, and you know he took that out straight away. And I think if FTSB can get oh. enough people out, they might be able to pull it off. But this is looking like a very, very strong push now from KJK. Well, yeah, Nicodemus. Uh, you, you say about him being you know, quite aware and you know, doing nicely there. I mean, um, but yeah, he takes that sentry and stops people getting up from underneath. Agro engine nicely, and that is a nice place to sentry there. I mean, um, Ambitious Hoovy is staying alive from that. Yeah, this is looking like a straight away win game, and that was nicely done there from the KJK. That was an excellently fought game. Mm -hmm. 